Shut up, man. Can you just be last Get him a paper. Off the inside bathroom. Go to sleep, a white belt. Holy crap. Wake up, a white belt with two stripes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy crap. There's a lot of time in the jiu-jitsu. Not only does this, he does a lot of the boxing, teaches a lot of the boxing. Uh, the boxers, a couple of them here, Jason, Rubio, he works on the landscape. It's a lot of time and effort into that. And he still tries to, he has a passion for jiu-jitsu. And that's, that's why we're all here, okay? All these faded belts, we keep going, we keep striving. Rafa's been out for how many, how long? Long time, okay? He comes back because we, we love what we do. It's a different kind of sport. It takes a, a passion and dedication other than, it, more than any sport I've ever done. And I've, and I've personally, I've played a lot of different sports. And I know a lot of people in here have done a lot of different sports. And I gotta say, this is the most challenging, yet most rewarding sport that I've ever done in my life. Hands down, okay? Um, and Eric is, if, you, if you've been in here training with him, those of you who have seen him train, he doesn't stop, okay? And that's, that's, that's hard to find. People get tired, they stop. You tell him, hey, let's keep going, he keeps going. He keeps training. Doesn't matter how exhausted he is. Doesn't matter how much you weigh. If, you know, next to him, you weigh 200 pounds, he keeps going. He still has all the heart and the drive, and the dedication, the passion to keep going, okay? And that's what it takes to belt up in this sport, too. It, it's, it's not always about winning tournaments and being a world champion, because we've got people in here that beat a lot of world champions. Okay, hands down. <laughs> I mean, really, it, it, it's not about that. And um, I think this group here, and I've done my best to try and invite people over here and kind of build a little community here that's not about politics with jiu-jitsu. It's about training, training hard, getting people from different schools, taking the politics out, okay? I don't care where anybody comes from. I just want to train jiu-jitsu and get better, okay? I want to come in here and get smashed by James. That's how I get better. That's how we all get better, okay? Uh, and so being a part of this is, is something special, and uh, I had... The opportunity, he was one of my very first students when I started teaching at LA Boxing before they shut down. And he stuck around, kind of followed me and said, hey, I still want to continue jiu-jitsu. Um, and I was honored because when I first started teaching there, I was a purple belt and then I got my brown belt. And he still wanted to follow me and, and uh, appreciated my style. Now that uh, he works with Johnny, because Johnny's here a lot, they're able to get a lot of good training in. And I think we have a good combination between the two of us, two completely different styles, which I think helps everybody out here in this gym. So I want to say, Congratulations, sir. Oh. Let's see how this works out for me. My belt's faded because I bleach it. I wash mine. Why don't you wash your key when you wash your mouth? Oh, that's a beautiful color. Make your eyes sparkle like firecrackers. <laughs> yep. I can close enough. Come on, you got it. One, two, three. You got at least four of these for me. Yep, watch out, baby. Finish it. Finish it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna get a trick. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's real. Woo! Woo! Oh, here comes the worst one. Yeah. This one comes with a choke. Oh, how cute. Now, real cute. Try to get the ceiling now. <laughs> <laughs> what ceiling, Eric? Don't, what do you mean it'd be nice? Turn it, it's trying to get the ceiling on his feet. Yeah. See if you can touch it. Let's get uh, two rows. Damn, proud moment. Oh, man. Proud moment. It's my dream to get there yeah, right now. Am I the only one that ever found this weird? Oh, it's super weird. It is. It's one of the most odd.
Like only psychopaths want to get someone else to get the hell. Yeah. 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 I guess you keep the rash guard on now. <laughs> You're not living a lie anymore. We'll let you keep it. Me. <laughs> yeah, 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 this one's gonna be loud. Oh! oh. 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 Woo! Hey. This gets Woo. my first! Now when the reef goes through, all bets are gone. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling right now, bro? Exhausted. <laughs> Was it worth it? Oh, oh yeah. Was it worth it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You can't come back and get us for like terrorism or anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know where you work. He doesn't need to go to a judge for a warrant either. He's kicking the door. Yeah, the NDAA, right? Someone that kicked Eric's butt. Kimo's <laughs> next. He hold you. I know. I'd be honored to do this. <laughs>